we're going to look at the basics of query design in Access 2013 and to do that we're going to look at this particular database which is to do with the DVD rental shop. I'm looking at the relationships view here and just to get a flavour of what this database is all about we've got a films table here they're all split up into different categories which are defined in the categories table uh, each of the different films we can have many different copies of that film in the terms of physical DVDs those physical DVDs are then lended out to members through this rentals table here and uh, we've got particular employees that are assigned to different rentals just so they can keep track of which employees actually rented out particular DVDs to particular members and that's generally it. I'm going to start off doing a really basic query and I'm going to base it on the films table first of all, just that single table. So to get a feeling of exactly what's in the films table, I'll just open it up in datasheet view and we can see here we've got a film ID, film name, new released category. We've got an actor field there as well which probably isn't designed the best. You, we could have easily actually have uh, put some of those actors out uh, onto an actors table and have a many-to-many -many relationship that would have suited better but just for the sake of this tutorial it's uh, good to have all these different actors it allows us to handle some of the different types of operators that we can use in our queries and then we've got a director foreign key and we've got a rating and we've got a synopsis field as well um, so if I think about all of those different fields and I'll go back to the relationships view one thing that I might want to find out is maybe show me all the different film names of any films who have been released after a particular year, so maybe the more modern films. So I want to create a query to allow me to do that. So to create a query, I'm going to go to the Create tab, and there's a Queries group here. I've got two different options, Query Wizard and Query Design. Essentially, both paths will end up at the same place. I always prefer Query Design because I uh, think it's more powerful. So I'm going to click on Query Design and straight away in query design we're into this query design view immediately is asking us to add in particular tables that we're interested in, in querying so for this very basic query where we're just focusing in on one table it's important to only add in the tables that we need so the information that I'm interested in here is in TVL films I'm going to add that and that's all I don't need anything else all of the fields that I need to reference for this query are contained in that one table so I was saying I want all the film names of all films that are released after a particular date. And those are the two different uh, fields that I've needed. I've double clicked on them and they arrive down here in uh, the different columns down in my query view. And then I just have to figure out, okay, do I want to add in a particular uh, criteria on this query? So the criteria are put in here on this row. And what I want is I want any records that match a particular t criteria so let's say I want them to be after 1970 so any films that are post 1970 or have been released after 1970 I'm going to put in the actual operator greater than and 1970 so the query is going to search through the database and return any records that match that criteria where the actual number inside the year release field is greater than 1970 to test this query before we save it and to see if it actually matches what I'm expecting I can go up here to the run option with a red exclamation mark just click that it returns the results of the query or the Dynaset as it's called and I can see there at a glance the two different fields I've got all the film names and I can just eyeball down through all the year release and make sure that they tally with the criteria that I put in so I'm seeing there yes that none of them are less than 1970 I've got a few 1970 ones there because I put in greater than 1970 I'm not going to get any ones from 1970 either it's only ones that are after 1970 so if I'm happy with that I can save it if I wasn't happy with that I can always go back into the design of the query again by just clicking on this set square pencil and ruler icon that flicks me back into the design view and I can tinker with it a little bit more but at any stage if I'm happy with that query I can just click on the save diskette and I can name it with uh, a name and usually I name my queries with uh, something that's relevant to what the query does so film names uh, post 1970 and click OK and I'll see that query pop up in my new queries group in the all access objects view of my pane over the side so I can close that query down 
and at any stage I can run it again just by double clicking on it. I don't need to go into the design view every time. Just setting it up in design view is just a once only operation and I only need to go back into that view if I want to edit it for some reason. And that's a basic query in Access 2013.